Um, I'm very proud of my team. I'm very proud of, of their growth this year. I'm proud of their efforts. Um, today was was a little bit of a bad day for us in terms of um, we had a hard time uh, technically on the field and well, I feel the, the field is a little dry, a little bit bumpy. Um, I, I thought we were fine in the first half for sure. Um, when we uh, we couldn't clear that ball in the corner, that's what got us. Um, the game that we played today was a tremendous game against a very good Long Beach group. And going into the game, it was it was always going to be one of those games where it was not necessarily based on on skill and playing the best soccer. It was a final, and you had to grind it out, and you had to be tougher than the group, uh, tougher than your opponent. And I think. Uh, our women's really stepped up to that and to be able to grind the way that we did and to come out on top is a tremendous, tremendous achievement for this program, so I couldn't be happier. It's not a lot of raw, raw motivation stuff. It's just reminding them of who we are and the things that we are good at. We needed to be um, more aggressive. We haven't had a corner kick. I mean, we didn't get one the whole first half and, um, you know, that's something we practice a lot and that's definitely one of our strengths. We're a crossing and finishing team. so. Um, the fact that we weren't playing to our strength. I'm honored, honestly. Uh, it, it feels amazing. I wasn't expecting it. I mean, to compete with such great teammates, um, it was, like I said, I, I just feel honored. Um, I just, we stayed calm and composed because that's who we are. You know, we're not a frantic team. We play soccer. Um, like I said, we're a crossing and finishing team. We've, uh, we're a possession-oriented team. And so staying calm, collected, and poised is just, part of who we are. When I saw Becca do all the work and I knew she's, she's good at what she does, really dangerous on the, on the wide and getting a shot off, I knew I had to follow up just in case the ball popped out and it did and it was, it wasn't a pretty goal but I had to get it done and I knew I needed to get in the back of the net and when I, I definitely do it for the seniors, I play for myself and I play for my teammates and nothing else matters so I just, I needed to get it done. Going into the postseason, I've definitely grown so much in this past year. And I mean, it's my teammates constantly reminding me, constantly pushing me, getting me out of my comfort zone, not playing scared, and just having confidence in myself. And it's so much easier to play with confidence when your teammates do the same thing. I really like the way that we came out and attacked Long Beach in the second half, and I thought, we, in the way that we played, we, we never let a really good group of players from Long Beach get comfortable. It's, it, and it's true. I mean, our conference, the way that we compete against each other is tremendous. We all have, we, we all recruit more or less out of the same area. And with it being the hotbed of, of soccer here in Southern California, we're all recruiting top-notch uh, soccer players. I mean, we have outstanding freshmen. Santa Barbara, Long Beach have outstanding freshmen. And so with that, I see all of the programs continuing to grow. Um, hopefully grow to a point where when we come to tournament time because of the quality of our teams we're playing the turn we're playing our conference tournament because that's what we do but we're playing it with the idea that we're getting multiple teams into the national tournament uh, again just absolutely thrilled that we don't have to wait and hold our breath or cross our fingers and so having the, the automatic bid is, is amazing we'll wait tomorrow to see uh, who they place us with or where they send us but for us it's it's just another opportunity to play in a big game, and that's what we've been talking about with the ladies throughout the course of the year, is at this point now, we'll celebrate this and really enjoy this, and then come Tuesday, we'll get ready for the next biggest game of the season. We're so excited. Um, I mean, it's my senior year, and it's either now or never. It's one game at a time, and, and each game is the most important day of our lives. Um, I'm just excited to see how far this team goes, because we have all the confidence we need in the world. We have a great coaching staff. We have. Again, confidence, support, I mean, our fan system, it's all there. The only thing that's going to stop us is ourselves, so I'm excited to see how far we go. I think as a program, just how to prepare and attack and get ready for a match. And I think uh, there's so many women in the program where <clears throat> now just being in the tournament isn't good enough. We want to go in and we want to make a run in the tournament, and that's something that we talked about throughout the course of the spring with the women that 
this was all something that we've kind of forecasted. We wanted to be in this type of situation. And so it's not, and I'll say it with as little arrogance as I possibly can, but so it's not a surprise that we're here. This is where we wanted to be. This is what we talked about doing. And so now getting ready for the national tournament, I'll remind the women of some of the conversations that we had after we played Stanford last year in regards to just being there isn't good enough. We want to be able to be there and we want to be able to make some, win some games and make a run. Well, I think as a team since last year, and I think this happens every year, we grow tremendously through every practice or every hardship, uh, through every great moment. And um, I just think we're going to take everything we've learned, all the losses, all the wins, and, and use it to our advantage, let it motivate us, and uh, hopefully take us farther than we usually do.